Hey, it's Couch Potato. I'm back. Another video. Um, this is kind of gaming related, but as I said in my previous videos, um, the last video or two, I'm slowly selling off a chunk of my collection. I pretty much sold off all my Sega games and most of my PSP games. And that was to get this bad boy right here. Uh, it is the Legion Lenovo. I can't even pronounce that. Legion Lenovo gaming laptop. Now I was thinking about getting an actual like PC tower and having it built, uh, having my brother build it for me. But I figured I'll get a gaming laptop. He said this is pretty legit. It's got a lot going for it. And for the price point, it's really good. And I like that it's a laptop, so it's portable. That way I can take it around the house here. I can take it when I visit my parents. I go out there a lot to hit the beach. They live about three and a half hours away. So it'd be nice to have some gaming on the go as well. My Surface Pro 4 uh, sounds like it's gonna burn up and die with uh, playing M MTG Arena on it. So to get a gaming PC so I can stream games and just play games. Uh, like I said, I plan on streaming gaming. Uh, it's something I wanna do and get into. So this is the first step towards doing that and putting the videos up on here and maybe even play some on Twitch or yeah, I think it's Twitch. Uh, it's been a while since I watched it, so I wanted to say Switch because Nintendo Switch, but it's Twitch. So I plan on playing some games for you guys and girls and uh, just have some fun with it and grow this channel, hopefully. Uh, I'm not looking to get famous or anything, but just for fun, play some games, lesser uh, known games, games that haven't really been focused on too much. I want to go through uh, a lot of my... Uh, 360 games and stuff like that. Hopefully I can get that all up and working. But anyway, I've rambled on enough. This is going to be an unboxing video of this Legion Lenovo uh, laptop. Got it for a good price. It was on sale and uh, my brother said it was legit. He's a big PC gamer. I'm not, I'm not really into the PC gaming scene, so I don't really know, you know, what specs are good or not. So I had to run it through him and, um, yeah, so I sold off a big chunk of my collection to help me afford this. Otherwise, I wouldn't have gotten it because it's pretty pricey, to be honest with you. But we'll do an unboxing here. Now, I already cut this so that it would be easier to get into. The first thing I noticed when I got this is the considerable weight. This thing has some pretty serious weight to it. Um, it's a nice sturdy cardboard box. So we've got, I think I opened this upside down or backwards. But anyway, so here's seems to be the laptop. Nice thick styrofoam protection to it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I opened this upside down. Oops. But, um, oh, yep, definitely upside down. <laughs> so we got the power brick in here. You know, standard power brick here. We've got a safety and warranty guide. We've got a setup guide. I'm gonna need that because, like I said, I'm not the biggest PC nerd out there. Uh, more of console, but uh, I'll definitely probably need that to help me set this thing up as soon as I'm done this video. I'm sure I'm gonna have to charge it. And then my Surface Pro 4, like I said, can't really run Arena. It steams off a lot at the top and sounds like it's gonna burn up. So it'll be nice to switch over and play it on here. And hopefully I can stream myself playing that. Like I said, I feel like I'm above average player on that. Uh, I seem to do pretty well. So it'll be cool to play. Um, I'm not like a serious uh, 
magic play or anything. So I am going to lose on there as well, but you'll take the journey with me, hopefully. So then we got this uh, nice, fancy, steady styrofoam. It is pretty thick, nice padding. Has an insert inset for the size of the laptop, so the laptop goes in there. Pretty cool. I might keep this, who knows, it might come in handy sometime. And then we've got the actual laptop. It's in a nice uh, bag here. Let me cover this back here because I don't want anyone hacking into my computer. So we got the back of the um, laptop, pretty sharp looking, pretty cool. Then we got the front. Nothing extra flashy, um, which is kind of the downside. I, I know a lot of the, you know, gaming computers and laptops look a little more snazzy than this. Like, um, I know Alienware, I think, is one, I believe. Like I said, I'm not big on PC. But, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Almost looks like a Mercedes-Benz uh, logo. It's almost like a Mercedes-Benz laptop. And... Pretty much it is, considering um, what I've been told about it. It's pretty darn good for a laptop. So we got a oh, nice protector for the screen and keyboard. Put that aside. Then we got the front side. Let's see if I can get it close enough. Because it's got the GE Force GTX NVIDIA graphics card in there. I think it's six gigabyte from what I read. And then I'll read some specs off the box here. I guess I'll leave it like this. We've got Intel i7 975OH 2.6 gig CPU. We've got 16 gigabytes of RAM. We've got storage, one terabyte, HDD plus 512 gigabyte SSD. We've got a 15.6 inch monitor, a battery that's a three cell battery, and it comes with Windows 10. And like I said, the graphics card, I believe it's six gigabyte, I think it said on there. Like I said, I don't really know all these computer specs. I can tell you all about consoles, but I don't know much about computers, so maybe someone in the comment section can uh, fill me in. Or you can look up this computer. It's the uh, Legion Lenovo uh, laptop. Like I said, I got it on sale, so I pulled the trigger, and uh, it's pretty nice. I can't wait to set it up and uh, hopefully get the game streaming going. I'll keep you guys posted, obviously, on game streaming. Uh, that way you can, you know, watch. I'll figure out how to how to work that. I don't know. I'll do it on Twitch or um, upload it to YouTube. Or I don't know if you can do, like, YouTube Live while you're doing it. I don't know. I'll look into it. But, um, yeah, that's it. My gaming laptop. As you can see behind me, my awesome statue. Also, if you made it this far, I just want to say... Uh, if you haven't already, can you subscribe, or not subscribe, can you go onto Facebook, search Facebook groups for Couch Potato, um, add yourself, and I will uh, accept, you just got to answer a couple questions, and I'll get your uh, request, and we'll you'll join in, and that's, I'm trying to grow the Facebook page. Um, on there, it's going to be all about video game stuff. You can post whatever you want, sell sell whatever you have gaming-wise or gaming-related. Uh, you know, if you have an awesome statue of Kotal Khan for Mortal Kombat like me, uh, you could sell that on there as well. So I want to try to, you know, grow that a little bit. But yeah, that's it. Uh, all my hard work. I put into shipping out all these games that I'm selling. You wouldn't think it was that difficult, but it's very time consuming and and a little confusing at times. 
when you got a ton of different people buying stuff from you, you gotta make sure the right game goes to the right person. You gotta print out the shipping labels. At least I do, because I have a thermal label printer that I used to use for, um, I used to be a reseller. I would hit up Goodwills and resell stuff that I bought for cheap and yard sales too. Uh, so, you know, just printing out all those labels, putting them in, making sure everything's packaged up right. Um, one thing I can't stand, it's, it seems to happen a lot in the gaming community, which I can kind of see because a lot of game, gaming collectors are cheap. So they're trying to get games for the cheapest price. So then people cut corners on shipping. And I wish people would be more aware that shipping is not cheap. It's for one Sega game to ship uh, to most states, it's like almost $4. It's like 322 or 350 depending you know what region you're on sometimes if you're in california and you're shipping from the east coast because i'm on the east coast uh it can be close to five dollars so you know it really cuts into your your profit on the game and then you see a lot of people cut corners they bubble mail cardboard box stuff or they bubble mail uh, collector's editions that have a cardboard outer uh, surrounding and then you the person gets it and it's all dented up and smushed and damaged and you know it just really burns my cookies <laughs> that uh that it happens that way but i received some vita collector's editions that were cardboard boxed and he put them in like a cheap bubble mailer type thing and most of the boxes got some type of crushed damage or smush damage on them so when i ship out my stuff i always make sure it's you know wrapped up packaged nicely and that the person that gets it gets it the way it's supposed to be um delivered so please if you're shipping out stuff especially cardboard box stuff collector's edition stuff like that take the extra resources and extra time to package it up nicely i'll make another video about that i think that's important to, to dive deeper into it. Maybe I'll show a couple examples. Um, but anyway, I'll leave it at that. My gaming PC. I can't wait to start this bad boy. And uh, we'll see you later. One love.